This is Brad. Hello. Lead singer <laughs> of pop band The Vamps. Here we go again. His every move is watched over by his 1.6 million followers on Twitter and his loyal fan base, the Vampettes. You step on stage and it's like it all just kind of goes, and then you're, you're like focused. There's just that much distraction, do you know what I mean? There's that much to take in that every, nothing else can fit in your brain for that hour and a half. It's like you're buzzing, you're absolutely buzzing. Brad may have toured with Taylor Swift and McFly, but when the concert's over, he still heads home alone. People have a preconception of what you're going to be like, and they're like, oh, you're in a band, you're one of them. Should I take your jacket, Brad, or um, you want to keep it on? I'll keep it on for now, so okay. It's never really been an attractive prospect, the going round and being like, I love you. Let me take you to the bar. Thank you very much. Are you all right? I'm a bit nervous, yeah. Are you? But I'm OK, yeah. Oh, my God. I think dates, anyway, are like, like dinner is you know, quite a scary thing to me. I haven't been on that many dates, really. I've been on, like, two or three. So what have you been up to of late? The band I'm in's been touring. <laughs> Sorry, forgive my ignorance. What band is you? Uh, the Vamps is the name. Oh, you're in The Vamps? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Wicked, man. Yeah, yeah. What's your largest audience to date, then? We played Wembley Stadium. That was like 90,000 people. That's intense, is, man. I'm way more scared going on a date than I am going out in front of a crowd. I always wanted to be a bartender when I was younger. No, I think you got the better end of the deal now. Mm. <laughs> I think I do have a type, like I grew up, yeah, my crush was like Eva Longoria, because my parents, like my mom used to love Desperate Housewives, and I was like, Eva Longoria. Hoping to make sweet music tonight is 18-year-old estate agent, Isabel. She has no idea she's walking into the arms of a bona fide teen heartthrob. Hello, how are you? Hello. <laughs> I do like a boy band look. I was really into One Direction. <laughs> sort of saying Malik, Harry Styles. Good evening. Good evening. What is your name, please? Isabel. Isabel, fantastic. What a smile you have. I like singers. I do find it really attractive. Can I take your jacket? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. If they can play musical instrument as well, I find that also so attractive. Hello. Hello. I'm Brad, nice to meet you. Nice Ma to meet you. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm nice good, to thank meet you. you. What was your name, sorry? Uh, it's Isabel. Isabel, nice yeah. to meet you. Are you OK? I really recognise you. <laughs> are you from the back? I am, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought so. There I've you seen go. you before. <laughs> Where have you seen us? Um, Brighton. Oh, you've seen us live? Yeah. You've actually seen us? Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you enjoy? Were we yeah, any good? Yeah, really good. That's very weird. That's that is weird. really weird. Were you nervous for this? I was I was I literally was so nervous for this. Yeah. Because I think it is literally just because you don't know who it is. Yeah. Blind dates don't exist now, do they? Mm, they you don't. Think about but it. I think they should. I think they should. Because, like, you, sh you shouldn't know everything about someone before you meet them. Definitely not. Blind dates. Way to go. The way to go, isn't it? <laughs> mm.